Good evening and welcome to Complin. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O oh God, God and Spirit, and Jesus you the three, from the crown, crown of my head, O Trinity, Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come, Come I unto thee, O Jesus, my King, King. O Jesus, do, do thou be my sheltering. My, my dear ones, O God, God, bless thou and keep. keep in every, every place, place where, where they, they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid to for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will, I will not, not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God, o God of life, this, this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God, o God of life, this, this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God, o God of life, this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. O God of life, this night. Our reading this evening is t taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and beginning at verse 11. Let this be my last word, brothers. Be glad, be complete, be comforted, be of the same mind, be at peace with one another, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Give one another a holy kiss. All the saints send their love to you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the harmony of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Compline always seems to me to be a space for reflection and seeking God's blessing towards the end of the day. And it's been a great blessing to me over the years, especially at retreats and conferences. We are tonight thinking about the familiar blessing we use most as a benediction. I love praying upon people love praying blessings upon people as my prayer becomes an avenue through the recipient and God are brought together. For the whole blessing from the whole of God we are looking at tonight, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the harmony of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God's grace, unmerited favours in Jesus to protect us. The love of God, our Heavenly Father, to fill us and reassure us in times of danger counsel and power of the Holy Spirit to keep us in God, God's harmony and unity. I once preached upon this verse in Kampala in Uganda. A small team of us from our church in Littlehampton said we would pray, pray it upon any individual as a blessing as they came forward and all 200 members of the congregation came forward. It took us a while. At the end there was a great sense of joy as each one had been prayed for, and the grace and the love and the harmony of God was at work in each person's heart. It was a great blessing to be there, and I want to offer you that blessing tonight. Stretch out your hands, kneel, stand up if necessary, whatever is appropriate, so that you're ready to receive from God, as I pray for you personally, this blessing the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the harmony of the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. Now we move to our prayers of intercession. 
Lord, we pray for those people we know of who need your blessing and protection this night. And in the silence, we pray for all those whom we know personally, that you will meet them in their need and that you will give them the blessing that we have just prayed for other people. Father, we pray for our Vicar Debbie, that you will give to her a renewal of strength and energy during this time of rest. And Lord, fill her with your love and grace and mercy. And when she returns to duty, it will be with a full heart and with the power of the Holy Spirit evident in her ministry. We ask this in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Be on mine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall awaken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of Mary, David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my enricher. The peace of all, all peace, peace be mine, be mine this, this night, in, in the, the name, name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good night and God bless you.